from my allergist office, so I am getting Zoller today in about an hour, so I have to leave really soon. Kind of stress out about it because of the side effects that I experienced the last time. So I am just hoping that this is the best thing for my body right now because there's no way to tell. is done thankfully so happy to be out of the doctor's office after two hours there it's a little bit tedious I was pretty shaky with the injection going in and within 20 minutes or so I was having an increase in pain levels and really dizzy as soon as she did the injection so I know like some of it is the dystonia getting mad. I also had a reaction going into the building because they were cleaning with chemicals. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going home soon. I can't wait to be home and I will just keep updating you guys on how it goes. Hey guys, so uh, yeah, it's kind of a half dressed type of day, which I'm sure you could tell with my pajama bottoms and actual top. I'm um, just really, really weak. Um, but I wanted to kind of finish updating you guys on my second Zolaire shot. I did wait a while to film the rest of this video for several reasons. One being uh, the holidays and two, of course, not feeling good. And three, just to kind of see how I felt a little bit like throughout the month with Zolaire. I'm trying to like figure out honestly what's related and what's not related at this point. So after the Zolar injection, I of course told you all I dealt with a lot of pain. Uh, that pain was pretty intense all the way up until I would say the beginning of the second week mark. So about two weeks in, of 10 days to two weeks give or take. Um, that's when like my pain levels come back down to normal pain levels which are still not honestly ideal levels in my personal opinion um but i did notice after zolaire i do have to rely wholeheartedly on my walker a lot like i have a lot of problems with weakness right after um, and increased muscle shakes and stuff like that i do not see any um, research supporting the muscle shakes being like Zolaire related, but I'm thinking that Zolaire is just kind of aggravating or annoying whatever is going on neurologically in my body. So a lot of this stuff is just kind of up in the air that I think might be Zolaire or happened like in the time frame. Um, and then like my sleep like does get messed up like right before, which I have a lot of times with biologics. I've actually noticed this is my third biologic. I've also been on Benlista and of course I'm still on Remicade. Right before I have trouble sleeping, but with Zolar it seems like I have trouble sleeping. So I like adjust my nighttime meds, at which like adjust them like I would like for the night before Remicade because I only deal with one night of insomnia with Remicade. So I adjust them, but then like I sleep a ridiculous amount. So I'm either not sleeping right before Zolair, which is the week before, or my body's demanding like 12 hours of sleep. So we're at the point where I'm demanding, the body's demanding like 12 hours of sleep. And then like, I'm still exhausted and I have to rest on the couch for at least an hour before doing anything remotely productive. Um, like even reading a devotional or booting up my laptop like really simple things and then of course like I told you guys about the muscle jerks I do not find any research again that it is Zolaire related but I am going to keep an eye on it um I'm trying to think if there was anything else like big it's really the like the Zolaire hangover like for me personally is a real thing uh the fatigue right after is ridiculous um and functioning like that whole week after it is really really difficult for me so that's definitely something I'm not looking forward to after my next injection but um, we're just gonna see how it goes uh, if 
the muscle jerking comes back. Um, I don't think it's Zola related, but I'm going to mention it to everybody. If somehow it does end up being like related to Zoller, I would stop. Um, I'm definitely not 150% sold yet on this, but I did see after adding this and then we added another antihistamine, I do see that throughout the month I have a few less reactions, but I do see them ramping up again, being that I'm due next week. So that's kind of like my Zoller journey at the moment, kind of the load down. Um, Sometimes I do still find myself like using my inhaler quite a bit and more than I want. I'm still reacting more than I want is the bottom line. So I hope that if you're getting Zoller that this is kind of helpful. Um, I'm due for my next injection. By the time this goes up, it'll be Monday. So I'll be getting my next injection Friday. Um, and I do have permission this time to run fluids after I get the injection because I'm there for two hours. This is my last two hour of wait, which is so exciting. I can't wait to be done with that. Um, but I'm allowed to run fluids while I'm waiting, which is good because you're killing two birds with one stone. It's infusion day anyways. And I'm actually hoping that running the fluids all feel better, quicker maybe. Um, so we'll see if like two bags of fluids kind of helps. So I will keep you all updated and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope if you're getting Zolaire that it does end up being helpful even a tiny bit. I know my body is really weird and really different, but hopefully it does help somebody. Alright guys, see you soon. Bye.